Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzham.com and today we'll be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 41, reference number 126334. We'll be going over the price, the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, class, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. So as of October 2017, you can get this uh, newly released Datejust from, a, from an authorized Rolex retailer for $9,450, or you can come to jazzham.com and get it for as low as $8,200. Moving on to the dial now, as with all Datejust, as with all Datejust, we have this very basic uh, dial architecture where we have index hour markers fashioned in 18 karat white gold. They are, the index markers themselves are luminous filled with a highly legible chroma light display with long lasting blue luminescence. The hands are the same as well, made out of 18 karat white gold, and the tips of the hands have luminous filled tips as well. We have a date at the 3 o'clock position with a cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for easier viewing and magnification of that date. <clears throat> At the 12 o'clock position, we have the Rolex crown in an 18 karat white gold as well. Underneath that, text at the 12 o'clock with the Rolex name, Oyster Perpetual, and Date Just. Around the very edge of the Date Just, we have a 60 second scale with the Arabic numerals at, uh, at every other five number um, and index uh, indices in between each. Besides that, for the date. For the, for the dial color, we have a silver dial and currently in my hand. Uh, with Datejust in general, Datejust usually has the most configurations of the Rolex watches. Specifically for this this version of the Datejust, however, it, it can it comes in index hour markers and diamond. So for the index hour markers and for the dial colors for the index hour markers, you're looking at silver. Uh, there's also white, black, blue, and rhodium. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that we. Uh, uh, for rhodium, people get silver and rhodium mixed up sometimes, so I just want to go ahead and quick, do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. So there, there's the silver and that's the rhodium. Very nice. All right, besides that, if you're feeling luxurious, as I mentioned, there are diamond, diamond hour markers. Uh, the diamond hour markers usually run you probably close to around 2,000 extra retail pricing on top of the uh, original retail pricing of the $9,450. Uh, however, the dial colors for the diamond come in black, blue, rhodium, and mother of pearl. Okay, moving on to the bezel now. The bezel is just a very simple fixed fluted white gold, 18 karat white gold bezel. As you can see, captures light in numerous and different portions of that bezel. The case size, as, as, as stated by the name, they just 41. It is a 41 millimeter case size, so from an index finger to my thumb here, that's a 41 millimeter case size made out of 904L steel. Uh, and that 904L steel is an in-house made steel by Rolex. It has additional corrosion resistance. For the case itself, we, have, we can see that they've added, actually added a nice, beautiful high polish on the lugs of the case, bottom and top. Side of the watch, again, we have that nice, beautiful high polish as well. Uh, that patterns on the side of the case that patterns very nicely with the uh, bracelet itself. Same on the other side as well. High, nice high polish on these sides. One thing to mention is that this is a successor to the Datejust the Datejust 2 that was discontinued in 2016. Uh, the just a little bit different. We do have a comparison video of that. If you're interested, you can check our YouTube channel. Uh, but a quick rundown is that the bezel and the case size are, are just a little bit are a little bit thinner than the Datejust 2. Okay, so let's move on to the crown now. The crown is a very simple screw down twin lock double waterproofing system. Simply unwind unscrews counterclockwise as shown. And in the standard position, you can wind the watch from a dead stop about anywhere from 15 to 20 uh, full counterclockwise uh, winds will get this watch going from a dead stop. A simple tug of the crown will allow you to adjust the date instantaneously as shown, going clockwise. And finally, when pulled out to the final position, the second hand or the hack movement will stop, allowing for precise time settings, such as an atomic clock online, you can set it down to the exact seconds, and you can also set the hands bi-directionally as well. Okay, once I push that crown back in, second hand starts moving once more, and you will always want to keep your crown nice and tight in against the case, as you want to keep the watch water resistance for up to 100 meters or 330 feet. Now, as the Rolex HS is a dress watch, we move on to the bracelet. We can see that we have a very beautiful high polish down the center of the three-piece three piece oyster links that travel, or uh, rather the pattern throughout the whole bracelet as we can see with the class, nice high polish. 
and on the other side of the bracelet, high polished sand finish, or sand finish or brush steel, brush steel at the very outer of the three links. Okay. The class is very simple. It's just a folding, a folding oyster class. It opens up to reveal the high polished, high polished class blades with the relic's name embossed onto the class blade itself. There, the class, the class itself has what relic calls the easy link. So at a 45 degree angle and pull that out. So here is a little indentation on the class itself and that allows for five millimeters uh, increment adjust, uh, five millimeter increment adjustments forward or backwards for the bracelet. And that's a simple quality of life feature for, uh, so, uh, for adjusting for more comfortability on the wrist in terms of if it's a hotter day, your wrist swells up, or the watch might feel a little bit too tight in your wrist, you can adjust it to have a little more breathing room and vice versa for colder days. Okay, moving on to the movement now. The movement is housed in this very simple oyster case backing is the perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. It's Rolex's in-house made caliber 32 35 movement, which is based on their flagship model, the, Day the Rolex Day Date President, which has a 3255 movement. But this is the this is updating from 31 uh, 3135 to the 3235. The main the main difference between the 3135 and 3235 is that they've added a uh, skeletonized escapement wheel. Uh, the escapement wheel is also made out of a nickel phosphorus, so the skeletonization reduces inertia while the um, the material, the nickel phosphorus, allows for additional resistance against magnetism and pairing that with the paramagnetic blue peregrine hairspring for the oscillator uh, adds even more additional magnetism from the watch keeping time at a precision of minus two plus two seconds a day. The functions of the movement itself is a center hour, minute, and second hand with instantaneous changing of the date as I've shown you with the crown and the stopping in the second hand as well. The one of the other main differences is that the power reserve has been boosted up from that 48 from the 3135 to, and now in the 3235, we have a whopping 70 hours of power reserve, meaning you could put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday afternoon, and it should be keeping time just fine. All right, so let me go ahead and show you this watch on the wrist now. That folding oyster, making, making it real easy. Get this watch on, on and off. All right. And there's a watch on my wrist. So do keep in mind, I do have an average, ma average man size wrist, and this watch doesn't look too large on my wrist at all. Uh, most Rolex watches uh, for the bracelets do fit seven and a half inches. As you can see, that little space in between. Okay, so if you like this watch or any other model for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazzham.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed and we offer a one year warranty. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.